Have you ever had this problem before? This package right here is four ounces, it's small and tiny enough to actually fit in a small envelope, but because it's four ounces, I have to put it in a large envelope. I go to USPS, guess what? The girl doesn't like how rigid it is, and she doesn't want to ship it as a large envelope, and I'm forced to, instead of paying $2.18, pay five dollars and 35 cents to ship this delivered with uh, tracking it's it's a six dollar package anyways i'm sure you guys have ran through this problem before so stamps.com actually does solve this issue for you but because they're not advocating for me and they're not paying me for this as an advertisement i'm gonna give you guys three tips to teach you as a stamps.com user myself i've used it for about two years now exactly how to use stamps.com and how to get the most value out of it so tip number one guys is don't use stamps.com except for large envelope orders if you try to ship usps packages parcels mail you're actually going to get a higher rate than pirateship.com will give you which is another basically postage website but only offers tracking and delivering it doesn't offer large envelope deliveries do not actually use stamps.com for anything except large envelopes because besides that it actually loses you money and i have the video to prove it hey guys so i scoured the internet i tested out piratechip.com versus stamps.com the same package to the same address and the same ounces and we got the same actual numbers so I'm not able to prove to you right now in this video that they're cheaper, uh, but I can prove to you that pirateship.com either gives you the same exact deal or according to my historical data, it gives you even better deals. The idea is uh, uh, stamps.com will never give you the best price. It'll either give you the exact same price Pirate Ship will give it to you or it will give you a, a more expensive price, but... That's why I prefer shipping using Pirate Ship when it comes to tracking package. Next, guys, number two is always be careful when you make the order to immediately save your postage label. Immediately. You know if you actually lose it, there are certain accounts that are not updated. If you don't save your label immediately the second you print it out, you have to actually request a refund to reprint the label, to reorder another label so you can reprint it because it just won't print again. There's literally no way on the actual website for certain accounts, especially mine, for example. I cannot access a reprint. I have to refund the order and look how long refunds takes. So as you guys can see here, unfortunately on my account, you can see a lot of my orders previously in january 28 2024 this is unbelievable guys i requested a refund and i still have it pending it's now seven months since so the idea that you make a mistake or oh, i forgot to save my <laughs> actual label as you can see here i cannot reprint the label in any way it only gives me a 24 hour window to reprint the label and sometimes this is actually also broken and it doesn't actually allow you to reprint most of the times that's what i ha what happened with me so even if it does say that you can reprint for 24 hours which i don't understand why the reprint window is for 24 hours as you can see here in pirateship.com i can reprint orders anytime i wanted i could just reprint the label right now i don't understand why stamps.com forces you to only reprint within 24 hours please somebody explain this to me it's very difficult to work with this website so for tip number three guys unless you're shipping at least three large envelopes per month it actually does not make fiscal sense to pay the 19 dollar 99 cents to sign up to stamps.com per month for their membership just to access the ability to print out large envelopes it's actually better for you to take your chances with the USPS workers and see if they'll take your package as a large envelope or just pay out the tracking than to just keep that membership going uh, if it's less than three large envelopes. So what I want you to do is go for three to six months, see how many large envelopes you've done within that period. If it's less than three, 
If it's two, I would say, if the average is two per month, I would say just go ahead and cancel the stamps.com account. You don't need it. It's better to just take your luck with USPS and it's more profitable. Uh, if it's three or more, then it's actually three. I would believe you're breaking even. If it's four or more, then you're actually getting into profitability land. And that's why I would prefer you to go into steps.com and use that membership. If it's four or more large envelopes per month, if it's anything less, just take your chances with USPS. I'm sorry to say you're going to have to do that. Anyways, I love that you guys are watching till the end. If you were watching till the end, go ahead and like this video. If you got any value from it, really appreciate you taking a new direction for this channel giving you all the value we got and collected throughout the years of going to our own businesses and hopefully you guys like it thank you so much for watching